Why Greece? Uh, the reason I came to Greece is because obviously I'm a math nerd and uh, Greece is where a ton of the math that we learn in seventh grade originated from. Um, the Greek people in particular, even if it wasn't in Greece, in Egypt, a lot of people who were Greek did some great things with math. And one of the things that they did really well with math was working with circles. And that's what we're getting into next is understanding area and circumference of circles. Now we're going to be looking at some of the vocabulary words that you'll be needing throughout this unit. Midpoint, radius, diameter, circumference, and pi will all be used during circles. And then we'll be defining them throughout this video. So this is your circle. Obviously it's not very good, but imagine it's a perfect circle. If I go from the edge of the circle to the midpoint of the circle, that distance is called the radius. If I go from edge to edge, passing through the midpoint, that is called the circle's diameter. The distance around the outside of a circle is called its circumference. This is similar to perimeter on many other shapes. However, when we're dealing with circles which have no edges, we call it circumference. So now let's put in our definitions. A midpoint is the direct center of a perfect circle. The radius is the distance between the midpoint and the edge of a circle. Diameter. The diameter is the distance from one edge of a circle to the other that passes through the midpoint. Circumference is the distance around the outside of a circle. This is similar to other shapes perimeter. So what is pi? Uh, I've written pi out, but pi is actually represented by uh, this symbol here. Um, it is a Greek letter in the alphabet uh, that stands for 3.14, and then I'm going to put dot, dot, dot. That means that this number is going to go on forever. Pi literally never ends. Um, they've done work with computers where they've printed out the numbers of pi for days, hours, weeks, and they've never gotten to the end of pi. So we usually just round it to 3.14. Let's talk about some formulas that are important uh, for circles. Uh, formulas to find circumference and area. Circumference can either be found by c equals pi d, which is circumference equals pi times the diameter, or c equals 2 pi r or circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. That's because the radius is half of the diameter, or diameter is twice the radius. Uh, the other one that's important is area. Area uh, is a equals pi r squared, or area equals pi times radius squared. There is a reason behind why that is. Um, we're not going to go into that in this video, but it is a, uh, there is an actual um, answer to why that formula is the way it is, and if you're interested, you can always shoot me an email, um, but I'm not going to go into that in this video, all right? Okay, now that we have an understanding of area and circumference, let's take this math and apply it to other things, like finding if I take one area out of another area, what would my remaining area be? And what do I mean by that? All right, so if I have a circle, right, and I want to know the area of the material on this circle, I can do that by using the math that we've learned. However, I can't just find the area of the whole circle because there's this missing area in the middle. So I need to find the area of the whole circle in the area of the missing circle. 
Then I need to subtract the two in order to figure out what is the area of this outside material. If I take a measuring tape to find the diameter of this outside circle passing through the midpoint, I find that my outside circle has a diameter of 30 inches. If I then take the diameter of my inside circle, I find that my inside circle has a diameter of 10 inches when I pass through the midpoint. So since the diameter equals 30, in order to find area, we need to take the diameter and divide it by 2, because the formula for area requires the radius. So when we take 30 and we divide it by 2, we get a radius of 15. We can now take that radius and add it into our formula, a equals pi r squared. So we put in a equals pi times 15 squared, which equals a equals 3.14 times 225. When we do this math out, uh, you can use a calculator, you come to the answer of 706.5. So the area of the material that we were using is 706.5, but that's including that middle circle that we're going to cancel out later. We now have to do the same thing for the area of the circle inside, the area that we're going to cancel out. So the diameter of that area was 10. So again, we need to find the radius. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So a equals pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25, so a equals 3.14 times 25. This gives us the answer of 78.5. So the area of the inside circle is 78.5. Now we want to know the area of the outside circle without the area of the inside circle. So we must subtract them. So I take the area of my outside circle, which was 706.5, I subtract the area of my inside circle, which is 78.5, and I come to my final answer, which is 628. Now, because this is, you, this is measured in inches, 628 needs to be inches, and because this is area, you need to put a square root sign after the inches so that we know that this is area. Okay, that's it. Now that you have an understanding of how to do area circumference, and how to subtract areas from different circles, uh, you can take this knowledge and you can apply it to the math Excel that we're going to be doing uh, coming up. So um, I hope that you learned a lot from this video, um, and I'm off to my next adventure, and I'll see you there.